Did you know? 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 Plant diseases and pests threaten our environment and food supply? Here's what plant pathologists are doing to help solve these problems. Did you know that nematodes cause billions of dollars in crop loss each year? I'm working on nematode resistance in soybeans. Did you know that soybeans are one of the world's most important crops and every year disease causes significant yield loss? And that's why I'm studying host resistance in soybeans because it's the most cost effective way in managing soybean disease. Did you know that the Fusarium haplide of wheat and barley is the most economically important disease of these crops and have a great concern in the social and economic aspect? My research is helping growers make cost-effective and environmentally sound decisions that help manage this disease. Did you know that invasive insects are threatening our forest? That's why I'm studying North American and Asian ash resistance to the emerald ash borer. Did you know there are exciting careers in urban agriculture, including ornamentals, turf, and landscape management. I use integrated methods to manage plant problems in an environmentally sound manner. Did you know that some fungi produce dangerous toxins when they infect our crops? These mycotoxins can be harmful to humans and livestock. I'm looking for new ways to help manage these problems. Did you know Norman Borlaug saved millions from hunger by breeding disease-resistant wheat? I'm a plant pathology student at Ohio State and I spent last summer as a Borlaug Ruan intern at the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center in Mexico. Did you know plants can defend themselves against pathogens and diseases? That's why I'm studying Austrian pine defenses against Clodia tiplite. Did you know biological control is an important strategy for disease management in both organic and conventional agriculture and developing intense to new biopesticides to help farmers around the world? Did you know some fungi and bacteria can help plants grow? I'll be working in Africa to find these beneficial microorganisms and promote sustainable agriculture. Did you know some of the microorganisms can replace the agriculture chemical inputs? That's why I'm working on this algae-based biofertilizer project. Did you know that plant disease management is very important for food production? That is why I'm working uh, now in biocontrol to help my country in Ecuador. I work with some bacterial strains uh, to develop biopesticides against some diseases in wheat and tomato. Did you know that fresh fruit and vegetables are the leading cause of foodborne illnesses in the United States and that contamination can occur both pre-harvest and post-harvest? That is why I am committed to identifying good agricultural practices that will reduce the risk of contamination by both human and plant pathogens. Did you know that plant viruses are responsible for at least 10% yield losses in developed countries and above 20% yield losses every year in developing countries? That is why my research is focused on developing novel approaches that will be used in engineering attenuated plant viruses for use in cross-protecting plants against their wild type strains. Now you know. And now you know. Now you know ways that plant pathologists are working on global issues in agriculture and the environment. You can help too. Visit plantpath.osu.edu for more information.